Okay, now sell me this. Oh! Oh god, it's expensive! I'll take it. Hello, and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we made a decent amount of progress in the Lightning Temple. By decent, I mean about 50%. We've ignited two of the four terminals, and hopefully today, we'll get the other remaining two. I'm not necessarily certain how to go about it, though, because I know where they're both at. This one right here is the Room of Flames and Light, which we went into yesterday. Couldn't do anything about it, I presume that we'll have to reach it from up a floor. But also, the, at the first floor, there's this one, which is locked. So let's take a look once more down here, just to see what it needs from us, if that's even something that we can be, you know, made aware of at all. At the very least, we can break our torch on some ceramics, and that's nice too. But no, I don't think that we can do anything about this. Uh, well, let's, let's, okay. I thought I saw something right there. Turns out I saw nothing over there. But uh, a key theme prevalent throughout all of this temple, as well as, you know, similar temples in preceding Zelda games, is the usage of light. And we have begun that illumination process right here. Now, I wonder if we can continue to play with these and do something else. Because yesterday I moved this one and the one just to the right and quickly, quickly achieved success, but I didn't touch these two. I'd have to imagine that they're going to be good for something, right? They're assuredly not just decorative statues. My goodness gracious, that'd be unheard of. A Zelda game giving you things you don't need? No, that's illegal. However, this sand is also illegal, so you got to go. And the prize for removing said sand, I suppose, is just the internal satisfaction of cleaning the house. I didn't mean to do any chores today, Zelda. You've left me no choice, it would seem. Okay, so we've sent the light off into this direction. This one's gonna bounce it up. Oh, I see you. You can't hide from me, you circular demon. We just place it right here. Mmm, a little bit to the left. I heard it made a good. That looks good to me. It is good to me. It's good for all of us. And I think that one's going to give us access to the room of flame and light. Which still begs the question as far as what we're going to do for the first floor, but hey! Who am I to question? A job well done, right? When life hands you lemons, just be thankful that you got free fruit, all right? Like, that crap's amazing. I know I've said that a time or two before in varying differences, but the point remains. I don't necessarily know if I am standing in the right location here. Uh, mm. Whoa, where are we? Uh, hmm. This looks important. In a way, this looks almost like a boss room, but if I were to press A and exit here, what would happen? Because I don't know that I can leave. Hmm. Let's go down real quick. Uh, tempting, 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 but I do want to be able to at least ignite this thing. I think I gotta go here, just behind the statue. Just slightly to the right there. Mm, yes, that is true. Very good. Let's push the button and go forward. What do we have here? A hallway? Oh, my good. Ooh. Fire away. Uh, looks like a job for the flame breaker armor. I'm not necessarily certain if that's what it needs for us. Perhaps they intend for us to block the flames in some capacity because goodness knows we could have come over here prior to acquiring said armor, but we've got it. So you might as well use it, right? If you got it, flaunt it. If you've got it, wear it. If you can find it in your inventory, Jiminy Christmas, where is it? Do I only have the... The two pieces? Really? I didn't buy it all? Oh, man. Well, we're definitely going back to Goron Land at some point. We'll be getting that. Okay, all right, Flame Breaker armor, huh? Jiminy Christmas, you about killed me? <laughs> all right, Riju, where you at, girl? Riju. Riju? Maybe if we push the button, she'll show up. Riju. Where did you come from? Riju's doing somersaults out of the friggin' ceiling, hanging out with the friggin' rats or something up in the rafters. Either which way, doesn't matter. Rats are cute. Almost as cute as a job well done here for our third terminal ignition. Okay, only one more. One more battery to go, indeed. 
Let's take off the Demigorgon mask because it's not necessarily uh, allowing us to see Link's pretty face. And then why don't we put on some barbarian armor because undoubtedly we'll be getting in toward, into some sort of uh, altercations here soon. That being said, I'm about to get into an altercation with this wall. I had hoped that we'd receive some sort of guidance onto, I don't know, the opening of this after that, but no. Um, okay, so. Think LP, think you've done it once before. Surely you can use your mind once again. Um, all of the terminals are affected by light in some capacity. So I'd have to imagine that that's going to be the case for the first floor terminal as well. But I just don't see any of those little, like, emblems, right? We The, the emblem there, well, it's not there anymore, but you know what I'm talking about, right? The, the little diagram thing that was lit up. Where is another one of those? It would presumably help us light up some light. What if we... What if we shifted this back over again? I'm gonna send this this way so that the light goes down. But maybe... Well, no, we'll just keep it like that. So the light goes down there. That did one light down here. Right? And then we already got this one. Or did we? We did. Yes, because that sent us off that direction. Okay, so we have the light right here, which has got to be good for something. Right? <laughs> uh, right? Hopefully. Goodness gracious. Uh, I'm trying to see because we do have a couple of mirrors in our pants. An impressive set of pants really link with that amount of storage. I rather would not like to use one, but if we have to, I will. Honestly, if we have to, I will gladly use one just as long as it means, you know, moving forward here. Um, it's so dark and hazy. It's hard for me to see. I mean, not like completely, right? Like not like the depth where you can't see, you know, two feet in front of your freaking face. But it's hard for me to necessarily tell like if there's anything on the statues across the way. I don't see anything. Well, what is this? What is this? What is this? We have, uh, we've already been in there, haven't we? Yeah, and that showed, that shined a light through here, which opened in this passageway. We're looking for one more light. We come back down here. All right, I'm curious. I'm going to go back into this room of light and flame and see if it means anything for us. Uh, I don't necessarily believe that it does. I thought the button was shut all that off, but apparently not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Starting to, starting to operate at a loss here, Link. Goodness gracious. Now, when it calls itself the Room of Light and Flame, I'd have to imagine there'd be a little bit more light than we're currently seeing. Uh, there actually isn't any at all beyond that that's being provided by the torches, mind you, or the flames themselves. Flames inherently produce light. Yes, they do. But that's not the type of light we need. I wonder. I wonder, can we get some, like, light arrows or something and, like, shoot? A well, we don't even know where the thing is. Okay, so, still at a little loss. <laughs> uh, if we fly back up, we can kind of hover around and get a good look at everything here. So that's the mirror. Any of you? Who's holding the switch? Which one of you is it, huh? I know someone here has what we need and they're going to get... A pizza party, if they tell me where it is. Mm, yes, you thought I was going to threaten you? No, I am a just and kind hero, and I will simply reward good effort with good effort. However, I'm not above vengeance either, and if you dare hide this from me any longer, I might go a little bit more crazy. Uh, no, not up there either. Let's check the map. Let's check the map. Where in here have we not been? I mean... We've been all the way to the... I mean, I guess we haven't been all the way to the top. Shoot. Dude, I guess... I guess we could do that. What was this one right here? This sent us all the way to the roof? Or the ceiling? Or the top floor? Or whatever the heck you want to call it. Here we are. What's in here? Lightning Temple. Floor 7. Oh, and we can get down. Well, look at that. Hot dog. But then what? The Room of Glorious Light. Oh... Light. Glorious light. Indeed. Uh, Gibdos, you want to come out? Maybe we can... I don't know, there's light coming from there. Maybe we can, like, reflect it in a way that sends it down? 
It does open up here. Hmm. Why don't we get on top of these mushrooms? Eh, we might be too far away. Okay, okay, okay. And freaking Riju's not even here, so we can't destroy them in the way that I want to. Fine! Seems that I was premature in my... Oh, and the door's closed behind me. Isn't it great? What is this? Hold the phone! I see a thing over here. Is this something we this is something we just went to. Okay, 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 okay. Goodness sakes, LP. Figure it out. And we have successfully descended all the way back down here. There's nothing in here that's interactable with Ultra. Uh, what is this? Something I've missed? How could it be? Assuredly, this is not the solution to my troubles. Just sitting here the entire time. I thought this terminal would have been the last one. This terminal could have been the first one. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. <laughs> well, whatever. It's here now. Riju, you're here too. Let's ignite this and get the heck out of this godforsaken temple. <laughs> Only half joking. Uh, yes, we are getting out of this temple. It's not godforsaken. I quite like it. I enjoy it a heck of a lot. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go indeed, because that means it's boss time. Oh, that doesn't open the door. Come on now. Someone ought to grease the wheels. All right, now. Whoa. Did that read you? You a teleport? I just saw you. Pretty certain I just saw you. Amazing. God, wow. So now, battery. To, to, to elevate us to where I, I just was, like, well, like, I don't know, shoot, at this point, like, 30 minutes ago, but in episode time, probably, like, five minutes ago. What is... Link, I think the platform is about to move. Oh, I can feel it in the air. I can taste it in the wind. I can smell it in the water. It's quite humid in here. Very humid for a desert, really. Are you sweating? Oh, no. You've peed yourself. That's just what I do when I'm excited, lady. Chill out. It's fine. Anyways, we have ascended... Uh, to the room I was in, <laughs> something is shining over there. Could it be light? Or perhaps it is a star. All right, well, okay. let me ignite you so that we can get rid of these. Or do we need to shoot this one first? Either which way, we need to wait for the uh, the creep. There it is. Boom shakalaka. Melt away, my sandy orb. Oh, and it released the beast. You were in there, Queenie. Your grace, I'm so sorry for disrupting your beauty sleep. Goodness knows you need a little bit more of it. <laughs> but, whoop, yeah, as, as Reed, you said, we will we'll put you back to sleep right quickly here, my dear. Undoubtedly, demons are going to be popping up out of those things, and I'd probably be well served eliminating those quickly. Let's do that. Oh, it wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. Isn't that just delightful? How can I tell? I have such a hard time telling if it's ready or not. Riju, side on, no. Fine. Uh, Riju. Riju, Riju, Riju. I'm ready. You're ready. Now, are these things expelling demons yet? No. Maybe we should just shoot the queen herself. Whoa, what is she doing? Oh, no, I missed! Riju's telling me about strategy and I couldn't hear. The music's quite loud. Something about strategy? The queen is flying? Yes? All right, I'm gonna shoot the queen. Maybe. Maybe, oh my goodness gracious, the queen is fast. Shooting the queen. Not shooting the queen, getting closer to the queen so I can shoot the queen. Uh, shooting the queen. There we go, the queen has been shot. The queen is still in the air. Okay, the queen is very res resilient. Where's the queen? There you are, queen. Woo, God, it's the tornadoes! And normally, you need far more space for a NATO like that to be spawning. Very impressive. All right. You better... No, you about to do that. I see how it is. No, 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 no. All right, very impressive that you can create such hideous gusts of wind. But I don't necessarily appreciate it. Boom, shakalaka. It's going to take a lot of arrows to kill this thing. Ooh, she's down and out. Let's... Thunder Gliok Reaper? Huh? Uh, it's badly damaged. But we're doing some damage, so I guess that's fine. Silver Moblin Hammer. Next best thing we have. Seems like it's doing just as much damage. And she's impervious unless she's down. Check her up. No! Ooh, she's stomping with the rage of a thousand sweaty hogs. 
Jiminy Christmas? It was horrifying. Really don't like how she holds her hands like that, like she's plotting something. Planning against me here. Redo, you ready? Not yet. But soon. Soonish. Soon. Redo. Redo! God, let's go! Thankfully, the tornado is relatively slow moving, so it's not something that we actually need to worry about, so long as we've keeping uh, kept the maintainable distance away from the beast. Boom shock. Oh, cheech amongus. I hit you. I hit the queen. Maybe I hit the tornado instead. Where you at, Riju? There you are. Uh, queen's making some noises. What's up, girl? You're looking particularly hideous today. Merry Christmas. All right. We're over halfway there. It's not too bad. I do suppose I should eat a little something. Probably be a good enough idea to eat some of that. You know, attack up juice. Just so that we can do any more damage. Or even more damage. Queen. The matriarch. Hello. Boom, shakalaka. Oh. You ain't dead. I know that for a fact, all right? Yeah, she's like, yes, 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 yes. Next phase. She squeals. Oh, yes, all of her babies have come to play. Isn't it just positively awful? Now, can we shock fruit this? No. Wishful thinking for certain. Come on. Rejo! Christmas. Get out of here, little Gibdos. All right, I gotta, I gotta kill your mother and your home. All right, you guys are not welcome. Now, are you guys good with the light? It would seem no. They are suffering. Indeed, they are. Well, let's, well, let's, let's use the light. You know why? Why not? Let, we got some mirrors so, somewhere in here. Where are the mirrors? They're in here. I know they're in here. There they are. Too many Christmas. It only took me like 40 seconds. We got light. Oh, look at them. Convulsing. Yes, come to me. Come die over here. This is great. Uh, what is oh, God. She's having more sickness, apparently. She's vomiting. Where's Riju? Riju, I need your powers so that we can go to Queen. Where the Queen at? I don't know. Perhaps we should eliminate one more of her phallic things here. This one is next. Gonna give us even more light. We've only got three mirrors. I'm gonna take one more out, though. Just because, why the heck not? And just get all nice and ignited here. Re read you, read you, come here. Now, is this one... This one doesn't look like it's spitting things out, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Yes. Okay, cool. We're good here. Look at this. We're doing a great job, Riju. You and I, we make an excellent team. I can't wait to have you as a permanent member of my party. Ooh, and thank you. Look at that. Using her face as a shield. Truly, she is a queen of the people. My goodness gracious, Zelda would never. All right, Zelda would be like, ah, Link! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Zelda is a warrior princess in her own right and quite talented as well. But I've never seen a princess take a straight up vomit laser to the face like that. Not since 1965. Rest him. Oh, man! We almost just ate it there. I'm gonna eat this. No, I'm gonna eat some mushrooms, all right? Celebratory shrooms. It's a good occasion. Anytime you're fighting a matriarch, you should eat some mushrooms, all right? It's only, it's only right. It's only right also to have a weapon equipped. Let's use a Gerudo bow so we can get a little zoomy. A little zoomy. A little zoomy! You're out of my laser. There you are. Come here, girl. No. Oh, what? What? It didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. Everyone's throwing up. What's happening here? All right, I'm next. You guys keep treating me like this. I'm gonna get sick. Are we supposed to to shine light on the queen? It's hard to see once I'm in here. Where, like, where is she? Bring your face over here, read you. That thing might vomit on us again, and it would not necessarily be the most helpful thing in the world. You get this one. You know, but you need some help, don't you? God darn it! Where's your face, read you? All right. Now, where are you? You're like up there somewhere. So hopefully if we do like this, it'll it'll get you. Oh, oh, that sounded like it didn't like something. Maybe, oh, there you are! Yes! Light! Light for you! And, oh God, oh, tornadoes for me! But I didn't ask for that! Oh, it's not on my wish list! Come here, where's Riju? I activated you, come here. Oh, the tornadoes! Making it very difficult for me to 
to hit my mark here, Riju, Riju's getting jacked up by the tornadoes, I think, is what that is. Fine. We're good now. If we can just get her in the light. There it is. I think we were a hair too late. Chimney Christmas. All right, very angry. Riju's being trampled. <laughs> Riju's gonna have to go to the ER after this. Oh, God, you're disgusting. All right. Arrow to you! Boom shakalaka, Queen Gibdi. You didn't like that very much now, DG. All right. Re All right, Riju's gonna get tossed by those. There's no avoiding it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to activate her just yet. I'm gonna wait till those pass. Now, where are you at, Rij? Come here, Rij! I gotta get her while she's on the ground. Oh, it's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, it's not gonna happen, is it? Can we shoot through him? We can indeed. Beautiful. Now she's ready to get bashed. Hello, queen. I've ordered your facial massage right here, and it's my hammer. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done indeed. That should indeed be the extent of it as well. I can't imagine there's another phase. Uh, certainly not when she's expelling this much blood. Goodness knows that she's going to need an IV after that. Not dramatic. Nice. Well, you know, that didn't take all that long. I think the longest part of this dungeon was really just getting started. <laughs> was finding our footing in the beginning stages of it. Uh, well, and I guess finding that final battery was kind of a slog, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's already in one ear, out the other, up one nostril, down the next. And we've got another kidney stone! Yay! And a heart container, more importantly than that. Hello! Well, let's actually grab it. That brings us to, does it, is that going to be our second level? We're finally on the next floor? No, not yet. Wow. I thought, I thought we have 15. How many do we have there? We got 19. We had 15 for like two weeks now at this point. Can we have 40 hearts total? That's crazy. Let's have a cutscene. Naturally, as is, you know, customary in these parts. Eat it. It's delicious. Radioactive? No, it's fine. Girl, I said, eat it. You gonna touch it? You gonna play with your food? What did Lady Urbosa ever teach you? Beloved daughter of the Gerudo. I know that voice. You are the one who's been talking all this time. No, that that's me. That'd be me. Sorry. I, I, yes, I literally cannot shut up. Your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gerudo. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the imprisoning war. And long, long ago. It looks like it's gonna be the when the kingdom of Hyrule was same as the prior three. A great evil, the Demon King emerged. He yeah, the we can just we'll skip it. I mean. We, we've, like I said, we've seen it three other times, and, and I, I get why they, I why they the do that, right? So, like, in case you went to one of the locations before any of the others, you would just always get the same thing. The which is cool and all. It's fine. It's fine, but we don't need to see it again. Alright? I mean, unless this is your first episode. If this is your first episode, 
That's crazy. This is like uh, episode 123, I think. One, two, three. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, so if it is your first episode, welcome. You finally met the guy that literally will not shut up while playing Nintendo games. I hope that's what you've been looking for. If it is, there's many other episodes for you to watch. Yes, this being episode 123 does mean it is indeed the 123rd episode. Either which way, though. Back to the action here. So. Realizing her power and her duty, Lady Riju takes up her destiny and fighting side by side with alongside you. Link. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I She's so cool. So demon king. She is so cool. I, I think she's gonna be my favorite companion. To claim my destiny. You claim your destiny, I'll claim your power. We'll all get along. It's gonna be a great time. We're gonna electrocute. Everyone, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. We're gonna be like, oh, like that one door down your hallway that no matter what, every time it shocks you. That's Lady Riju, all right? We call her the doorknob. I am the sage of lightning. Witness this new power I possess. Ah! Oh, it's so cool. That actually, that gave me chills. Oh, buddy. We've done it. We've done it. We've done everyone. Give me your hand. We are ready to go tackle Ganondorf. We gotta trim them fingernails, alright? Who am I kidding? Link probably plays classical guitar. Finger style. I will stand with you. And here, as proof of my vow. He's got jaundice. She needs a liver transplant. Look how yellow she is. She's practically a Simpson character. She's giving Link jaundice. Who knew it was contagious? Oh my god. Link's liver swelled four sizes that day. Oh, it's in my hand. Oh god. Never even drank alcohol. Now I'm noticing there's a middle finger... That, that looks like it, I don't know, it looks like it could be a thing. Maybe it's not, it's probably not, right? Because these are the four regions, the four regional phenomena that have been taken care of. Use that, ring to call upon my power. that middle finger just looked way different to me. Maybe that's <laughs> like that, because I'm when Link flips paid. the bird, it's so that that one's like okay. different Should than the rest. So when he sees Gan Ganondorf and he's like, screw you, dude! Ganondorf's like, ah! This big, powerful finger. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just hypothesizing here. Anyways, what I also need to hypothesize is what we're going to do next. Because as I did mention, we are we're, we're equipped to go tackle the final boss. I mean, we are done with everything else, I guess, story-wise. But I'm not going to get to that just yet. Uh, there's still far too much of the map, sky, and underground alike for me to explore. And frankly... We probably need the help before we go tackle it. Look at this. Skin cancer returns to the desert. The sun is out once more. And they can leave their bunker. Now, what does this mean for us? Are we still, like, welcome there? I hope so. Although, part of me hopes not. That way we'll be forced to, like, buy the Vi outfit that we had in Breath of the Wild. Because I rather liked that. It was cute. But I guess we'll see. Either which way, I suppose it would be convenient to be able to run around the town without having to disguise ourselves, right? We could be in whatever outfit we wanted, but hey, either which way, all I care about are two things, all right? Being allowed in the town and wearing clothes. Why don't we do that? We're good. Ooh. The music is back. All right. Hold on, hold on, Riju. Let me just listen to that for a second. Mm. I forgot how much I liked this town song. Ah, Link. I am grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I have received reports that ever since the Sand Shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. You're welcome! Anytime. Any, any, yeah, anytime like a foul demon plagues you, I'll, I'll be there. 
I am sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Actually, Buliara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda. That doesn't explain everything that's been going on. But it is impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule and that terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. Almost like they look like each other, like I said. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must uncover her true identity. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. And with my newfound power as a sage, I will still be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything I can to help. Ba -na -na -na. You got the Vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning, Proof of the Vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning, Use the Summon or Dismiss the Avatar of Riju, Sage of Lightning. All right. Oh. Link, you already said you'd visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. I'm sure Lookout Landing would value any information you could share. Get out of here. Sir. I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such reunion. Indeed they shall, and Buliara! Good call. But not yet. Alright, there's still stuff to do between here and then. First and foremost, I want to see about some clothing. Alright, in Breath of the Wild, there were clothing items we could buy. Look at this, man. They didn't waste any time. Alright. As soon as the sand dissipated, the, G the Gerudo came out of the friggin' hole and we're like, Mmm, capitalism. Let's sell some things. Fine, alright, I'll patronize you. I'll buy some arrows. I've got 1,259 rupees burning a hole in my back pocket. And I'm ready to spend some of them. You don't see us shop this hit very often, am I right? I've realized I need to be more accepting of change, and that includes accepting men. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many do you want? Yeah. You bigoted old lady. Give me your arrows, all of them. And I don't want any of your pulsating jellies, but I would like your bomb flowers. Mm -hmm. 40 each? Woo, a little steep, a little steep, but hey. Definitely worth oh. it, in my opinion, because we don't get enough of those. What do we have here? We've got some meat. Hey. This thing's freaking huge. Look at that, Link's eating like three of those in a sitting. The glutton, he's like Luffy or Goku. Yes, anime heroes like. Uh, Hydra melons, regular melons, volt fruit. No, thank you. Where is it at? Hey, this thing. We still, we have these now, don't we? We always had these, but this goes down in the shelter. Let's take it there. Let's take it there the long way. Okay, let's not. That's blocked. Okay, <laughs> we'll go this way. I wanted to, to like walk throughout town and see if there was any clothes. I can't quite remember in Breath of the Wild where the clothing shop was, but I don't seem to recall it being just out here in the marketplace in the center of town. I think it was in one of the back streets through a door you actually had to enter. So we'll check that here in a moment. And these ball things went over here, I believe. Is this, yeah, this is where the school is. We still need to talk to the school people. We'll get to that all in due time. And this has got the triangle on it. Hmm? Oh, you brought another ball! Sarkso, you deserve something for the trouble you went to carrying it all the way here. Will this do? Sure. Sure. I'll, 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 I'll take them. I'll take the melon. If you find any more orbs, I'd be thrilled that you bring them to me. Sure, but let me let me let me place this one where it goes before you so rudely interrupted me. You saw me and you're like, here, catch! It's a watermelon. It's like, ah! Thanks. There we go. Oh, nope, I missed. I missed. I'm missing a lot here, goodness gracious. There we go. That looks right to me. That's two out of seven. Five more to go. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, I think I recall one of them being at the Karakara Bazaar, at like the Oasis. And one of those Hylian dudes uh, owning it or, I don't know, claiming possession of it. I vaguely recall trying to grab it and he'd be like, no, nah, you can't have it, dude. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's mine. All right, now let's find the, let's find the clothing store real quick. Like, uh, we'll go this way. 
Just to see. For an overheated body? In here? Overheated body? I mm, no. What are you gonna do with? Mm -mm. I wanna go in there. You gonna make me take a nap? It's not nap time. It's clothing time. And balloon time, apparently. Wait, is that? Imp okay, one one thing at a time, LP. <laughs> it's not too get too distracted here. We're looking to steal these people's oils. All right, we're just gonna rob them blind, taking their oils and their butters, all their sources of fat. Where's your avocados at? We'll take them too. Clearly. Clothing shop, not on this side of town. We we cannot we cannot climb these walls. How sickening! Goodness gracious, it's gonna give me indigestion. It's fine. We can still travel quicker-ish this way. Let's go through this hey. side. Of well, hold on. This little that looks clothing-esque, or at least like hat. What? Well, what? It's got a shirt on it. This is the clothing shop. Where's my people at? Fashion Passion. Open at Kara Kara Bazaar. Oh. Well, shoot. You got a you got a whole storefront there just wasting away, occupying space. You should open up two locations. I think that would be helpful. Hold on here. Interesting. Very scary. <laughs> well, someone's getting into some interesting habits, it would seem. Now, this is where we exchanged the luminous stones, right? So, could you move that crate away from the door? Oh. Of course, sorry, we're never moving now. Either. Ah! Oh, uh. What's the matter, Puda? My, my bag. What? No. You know I can't lift that myself. What are we gonna do? Customers won't be able to get in if we can't unblock the door. Well, it sounds like we need to find an alternate means of entry. Could there be an entry over here? Oh, look at this. There sure <laughs> is. Hello? Oh. Perhaps not, but there are fruits. Delicious. We're just robbing this place blind, huh? Some hero we are. <laughs> oh, yes, we'll save you, and then we'll enter every single one of your houses and take every fruit you have to offer. Oh, could we go down and ascend? Probably what it wants, right? Didn't go down here when I saw this earlier, and we... Okay, I was like, this is just a, a single area. So we need to go to the left. Which means we need to break this. Uh, this one. Who is the sledge? Oh gosh, maybe. We might have to use a bomb flower. This is not necessarily efficient at all. But we're through. Kind of. And break, 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 break. Yeah, continually breaking and go left. And go left. Yes. Well, now we gotta go down. There we go. Left. We've done it. Oh my goodness. Left and up now. Okay, well, hmm. I feel like this dropped. There we are. We are in it now. We're... What? That's where we fell in from, though, isn't it? What? Maybe we gotta ascend through here? It's something like this. It's like around here. It's gotta be, just based on the proximity of that hole. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello. Client list check. Poor let's check. Huh? No. Oh, but the door is blocked. Oh, never mind. It's our rule not to pry into the business of customers even when they climb out of the ground itself. You're welcome in our shop, no matter how you manage to sliver inside. Oh. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, the only shop in town that sells clothing designed with Vo in mind. Considering Vo aren't allowed in town, I'm sure you can understand why the shop is a secret. Anyway, that's how we run our business. We're not concerned with who you are. As an outcast myself, I appreciate your business. Okay, now sell me this. Oh! Oh, God, it's expensive! I'll take it. Well, I'll take what I can. Starting with the pants, of course. 650 makes us borderline poor. Can't I, I mean, we're wearing the snow pants. Each among us. Those are pretty cool looking. Our outfit's pretty sweet. Uh, what is this now? Snow boots? Sand boots. Ooh, we would have been better off with those. Can I sell you some stuff and maybe buy those? Oh. I don't know what my gemstone situation is like. I know that I sold a ton of them. Oh, gosh, maybe about a week oh. ago, if not a little bit longer. But I can't imagine we have a whole lot. Well, he says that with 42 ambers. Do we have anything other than amber, though? Hopefully so, because the ambers are only worth 10, which is not necessarily going to help us reach that 1,200 goal. Yeah, we've got a few. I did purposely keep some of these uh, 
for like item upgrade purposes, but you know what? I think we're going to find more. <laughs> so something tells me, don't don't ask me what, just call it a premonition. Something in the air. I've got a hunch that we may in fact be breaking more rocks sometime in the course of the next, I don't know, 50, 60, 75 episodes or however many we've got going left. Because we're assuredly going to hit 200 total episodes here at the very least. Oh, I sold all of them. Didn't mean to do that. Whatever. It's fine. We're going to just do it. We're just going to do it. Uh, because this way we'll be able to buy everything here, I think, slash hope. Uh, we're going to be darn near 4,000 rupees, which should put us uh, pretty close. Uh, the t-shirt the over there with a Gerudo Vo top was pretty darn expensive. So it gives me pause to committing to that holy, but selling all of these... <laughs> woo -wee! That's a lot of gemstones. Where's the... Where are these ones? There they are. That'll bring us almost to 5,000. There we go. 420, man. <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. I think we should be set, but goodness oh. knows that I don't remember how much any of these things cost. It's been so long since I looked. 1,200. All right, we can buy that. Oh. Take them. We already have the snow boots, don't we? Oh. We wearing those? Snow speed up. Something tells me we don't have those. I feel like we just have, like, the warm pants. Archaic warm greaves. Yeah. We do not. Uh, and we definitely uh. do have enough to buy the top as well, even though that will almost all but tap us out. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. The Spalder. Oh. That's a fun word. Spalder. Oh. I'm going to name my next cat Spalder. We'll have Aragorn, oh. Luna, and Spalder. Don't hold me to that because I'll probably forget. Anyways, that looks like we have patronized you ladies out of existence. How about we uh, help you out by leaving too? And taking your arrows. Alrighty, we came, we saw, we conquered the queen and the clothing shops too. All in a day's work. And this is truly a full day's work because that's the end of the episode. So thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope that you enjoyed yourself. It's truly my goal to provide entertainment to you because I know there are so many different things you can choose to do with 30 minutes of your time. You could do anything at all and you chose to spend it with me. And for that, I'm thankful. And I hope that I see you again tomorrow.